Hunter on the phone with me, special guest. Known from his work on Sensi Murder, psychic medium Kelvin Crookshank. He has written a number of books. And he is visiting Palmy Friday night as part of his national soul food tour. Uh, convention centre, 7 o'clock. Kelvin Crookshank, thanks for coming on. How are you? Good, mate. Yourself? I'm, uh, I'm uh, very well. I'm excited to talk to you, although possibly not as excited as my mum will be that I'm talking to you. I've just uh, just <laughs> from straight from the get go. Seriously, my mum is the biggest fan of you. You've got oh, no really? idea. Oh yeah, she loves you, eh? I, I think I oh. think I think if um, she had the choice of booting her husband to the side, she'd be uh, very happy to have you <laughs> in his place. Nice. How old's your mum? Uh, she is uh, mid fifties. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no. A bit too high in the range for me, mate. <laughs> so great to chat to you. You're currently on tour with your Soul Food show across the country and coming to Palmy on Friday night. Yeah, mate, we're doing the second leg of the tour this year. Um, we obviously come into Palmas and North and a few other bits and pieces and places around the country and then off, off, off overseas at some point uh, before Christmas, so that'll be quite cool. Um, so this is different. For people listening, this is a, a real opportunity to uh, come along and possibly uh, get a message from, you know, somebody who's uh, passed over. Because this is different. You were here recently doing a, a book sort of signing, but uh, this time you are at the Soul Food Show's all about possibly getting those messages through and, and uh, that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, like the book tour, we come down, we sign books and do a little book talk about it and people ask questions. But Soul Food, like, it's been going for years. It's me getting up there, working as hard as I can to get the messages through. And, and we also educate people about how they too can communicate and um, how they can learn to change their lives for the better, I think. So that's what it's all about. One thing I'd love to ask, I know a lot of people are listening who's po- who are possibly uh, you know planning uh, to go to the show. And Is there anything people can do, maybe somebody who is going along just really hoping or open to the possibility of getting a message through, is there anything they can do to possibly improve those chances? Is there anything they can take with them or prepare themselves better? I don't know. I mean, you're the expert yeah, well, here. You know, well, I think the best thing anyone can do is just sit still at home and, and ask their family that's passed over or their, their best mate or whoever um, and really ask them, to, I hope you come along tonight. I'd love you to talk to Calvin, tap him on the shoulder, tap Calvin on the shoulder and, and make, make your presence known. And when we ask, we usually receive. And I think that's a really um, good way to be able to get that connection going. And it certainly helps when people uh, do things like that because the spirit then start talking a lot faster and a lot more fluent and uh, they can get their stories out quicker. So when you get to, to just explain, like when you get to a gig, like say the Palmy show or what, what, whatever show, uh, what's it like for you? Is it, do, you do you sort of know, oh, oh here's, a, here's a whole lot of spirits turned up for tonight. We're in, we're in for a busy night or is it not? Or was it just sort of, how does it work? Well, it's sort of like that. Basically, I don't... Um, get involved inside the um, connection until I'm on stage, yeah. if that makes sense there, because I'd rather it be natural. Uh, I can remember years and years and years ago where I used to get so freaked out by having to get up in front of people that I'd try and preempt what was going to take place, and I, and I could do it, but it became non-natural. So the key to soul food is me getting up there being just my natural self, letting it flow, let it be exactly what it's meant to be without um, forcing it to, to happen. And I think that works a lot, a lot better. And Kelvin, I want to chat to you about about kids. In fact, here's a clip from Pink. I want about they talk about the kid thing and them talking to uh, spirits. This is Pink talking about her own daughter. Yeah, she sees spirits all the time. And Willow has been trying to hand her cookie to something that she laughed at right in front of her face for like six months. You know, I've got I've got friends and family who tell me their wee ones talk to spirits. They've caught them talking to spirits. Now, how does any parent know that this is the case with their own, you know, uh, child? Well, basically, they'll know straight away because the child will be sitting in their room by themselves talking to the wall and laughing and giggling, or when the parent comes in, uh, they stop talking instantly. Yeah. And another one is, too, is when the parent's trying to talk to the child, the child's looking behind their shoulder laughing. Uh, that's an obvious giveaway for, for people that are in spirit talking to the child. The most children, um, they, they are able to see... Up until a time of about seven to nine sort of scenario, they start to lose it uh, because of conditioned minds, if yeah. you like. You know, the conditioning, the society's way and all that sort of drama. Um, but, you know, we can all see, we all dream, so therefore we can all see. And so within the dream, if we can tap into it while we're awake, then we can actually connect. And that's what that's what it's all about. What would you What would you say to those parents if they do have any wee ones, you know, who are uh, sort of having stories of this sort of, uh, this sort of nature? Oh. 
I think the best thing to do for kids like that that are actually out there telling uh, parents that uh, what's going on for them, just support them and become part of their level. In other words, don't force them into anything. Don't make them do anything they sh- you know that they shouldn't be doing. In other words, well, if, if granddad's here, what's he saying? You know, what's he what's he doing? What what's he want? You know, so don't, don't put any pressure on. Just let them be natural, and uh, it'll filter through. It'll be fine. Thank you very much, Cole, for your chat. Really appreciate it, and look forward to you coming to the Manu uh, Manawa too. Yeah, always looking forward to coming back down there, and uh, I will be staying at Hotel Walsh. So for those people who know who that is and what that is, uh, I might even see you as you drive by. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks for the check, <laughs> Little mystery for you. Justin Evans on Drive. Woo! That's great news. Manawatu's 92.2. More FM.